Hello, Tom and everyone. Hello. That took a while. <laughs> Where were you? Somewhere else. Um, South Dorado. We are in South Dorado today as we build a house. Um, I didn't really have any plans to build anything, but then we got that free update with sliding doors and ceiling fans, which sliding I forgot to doors. use. Sliding doors. Is this doors. a Sims first? I don't know if they actually slide. I've not tested the animation. <laughs> But they are glass. Is it the first time they've ever had that in the series? What? Sliding doors. I don't know. I couldn't say. I mean, I've never played Sims 1. Maybe they had... It seems a bit technologically advanced for 1 and 2. <laughs> Maybe. But I have heard a lot of people say 2 is the best. Gameplay-wise, at least. I would like to think 2 gets a lot of praise. It does. Mostly because it's what everyone was probably introduced to. Yeah, I think a lot of people... I think Sims were. 1 was PC exclusive. I, I mean, all, the, all the Sims are really PC focused, aren't they? But Sims 2 got put on the console. Yeah. So that's why I imagine it's got a place in the like, I, I look at The Sims 2, it doesn't look much different to The Sims 4. Sims 4 is definitely based off The Sims 2, rather than The Sims 3. Really? Well, The Sims 3 is a technical improvement of The Sims formula, but it didn't go over so well. <sighs> I just, the Sims 3 is odd. Sims 3. 1 and 2, it did feel more like a cartoony based game. Three, they went for realism, and I really don't like the aesthetic, but I've watched a lot of building videos from three, and that looks better because there's the um, terrain you can terraform manipulation, and you stuff. can terraform the land, you can build on cliff sides, and that's amazing, and I don't think we'll be able to have that in The Sims 4. It just doesn't work the same way. Sims but 3 isn't helped by the fact it, as if it's possible, uh, a worse DLC sort of micro transactioning it's not my transactions but I've it almost feels like it with the sims 3 the sims 3's dlc's it's but got a lot of crap the sims 3 sweet stuff uh, a yeah there's, there's a lot of crap in the okay, sims 3 Katie perry what what was um, up with that like sims 4 is already like uh, yeah. a bit absurd in in the quantity and not only the quantity but how much they ask you guys to pay pay for these um, yeah, I it's think... not i i don't think it's terrible when you're Playing the game so much, yeah. Um, but for a casual player, yeah, it is. absolutely. The Sims, like for, on on the console, if people are just buying The Sims, and they if they're aware of what's already on the PC, it'd be a massive turn off to me. I actually thought they should have put Get to Work. Console and is far behind. What was PC. the other big expansion that came out? Get early? Together, Dine Out, Get to Work, all that all that early stuff that should have been in the console one right from the off, um, like for free, not even. The console one is so far years behind. Old. Yeah. Apparently, there's an update coming for console, though. They just did this free UBC update and they're doing one for console, I believe, but I don't know if it's the same thing. But um, I know they got console just got laundry stuff last week, I believe, or it's coming out or something. So, yeah, Sims has always been PC focused. Um, I think my favourite Sims game was on DS, though. <laughs> It was an herbs one. That's the one with um, what's his name, Daddy Big Bucks or something. Probably doesn't have Daddy in the name, but you know, anyone with big bucks, you call them what you want. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> so what are we making? It's a holiday home. Yeah, it's a villa in Selva Dorada, as is tradition with Selva Dorada and homes. I try to make it look kind of Moroccan, but I don't know how well that went. So who, what sort of family or? If it is a family, like what sort of people do you envision? Envisi envisage? Envisage? <laughs> envisage living here. What are these words? Or visiting here. Visiting. Um, is it a family? Clearly it's posh because it has some sort of gazebo patio. Thing. It is posh. It's the kind of posh that's like, it's probably for the money you're paying for it, it probably isn't worth the amount of space you get. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you. <sighs> when you're playing the game, and you have this on one of your lots, you realise how none of your sims you've been playing with could actually afford to stay here for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those. Days. Yeah. It's yeah, one no, of those. It's true. And when, when you're staying... Uh, it, the Sims is great training for going and staying away on holiday because you learn things like, why the hell would I stay in a big house <laughs> or in a place that I want to go travel around? Yeah, definitely. Um... Yeah, it's true. I think if I ever make enough money to actually travel to all the places I want to, 
I'll probably stay in really cheap places and hostels and stuff and probably camp a lot because I want to travel to so many places it's not worth staying in a massive hotel or villa for only three days and then have to go home I'd rather go camping for like a month or something you know um, Tom nodded if you couldn't hear the nod um, but this specific home or villa whatever it has two bedrooms one has a double bed and one has two uh, two single beds so you could take a family here or you could just take a bunch of friends but it's kind of it's it's very it's much more adult oriented than for kids i do make the two single bedded bedroom wait that's that sounded bad the, the the bedroom with two single beds i do put toys in so it looks kind of it is kind of for kids but when making it i did envision like a big group of friends coming here who will have like rich mums and dads and stuff paying for their kids holidays <laughs> um but one room does have a couple toys so you can take kids here when i tested the lot a little bit i brought my family with um mum dad massive dog who kind of briefly you'll see his tail in the tour so if you see something pop up and you think what is that giant squirrel it's actually their giant dog's tail because they left him behind when they went to run out in the rain how mean um but yeah so you can bring anyone here but i imagine sort of a very basic group of friends like i've not been to the airport in a long time but nearly every time i have been there's always been a group of teenagers or young adults going to ibiza dickheads and it's it's just it's exactly the type of people you imagine like there was recently um a festival nearby where we live i think we complained about it in the last video actually because we're clearly old people and it's just weird because we live yeah we did complain about it because i remember saying pretty much exactly this but i'm very bitter and i don't get over these things easily because i'm an old woman um but so yeah we live in this sort of weird area like it's usually quite quiet and there's not much to do specifically around here people will often drive past because it's really mostly houses and stuff and it's such it's it's i don't know what to call it a low budget area to put it nicely it's very family area it's there's very, nothing commercial around there's nothing here commercial and so when there was this festival for some reason out of nowhere um there was the streets were just littered with a horde of people our age honestly i'm gonna say i'm gonna talk about them like they're kids but they're people our age and they're all wearing sequin things and fish nets and like bikinis it's not even that hot anymore but that's what they were wearing anyway those are the sorts of people i imagine coming here um so yeah but you can bring anyone here it could be a home a holiday home for just a couple honeymooning or you could bring a couple friends joint honeymoon honestly that sounds awful but you could do it that would be awful. A joint right? honeymoon sounds terrible. That would be the worst thing. Like you could be like, yeah, I'd want to do that with my best friend. Yeah, and, and then probably... it's awful, and you realise you actually don't have as much in common as you expected. And maybe. Yeah. Cause just I don't know. Cause my friends all like to go out a lot, so they'd probably be like, let's go night clubbing. And I'd be like, oh, I just want to sit and watch the sun go down while watching anime. <laughs> No matter where I am or what I'm doing, if it's a honeymoon or whatever, it doesn't matter. There's got to be some anime for me to watch. Um, okay, that's really lame. Let's move on. Um, I wasn't going to include the roof part, but I think it actually shapes the build a lot. It looks a lot better when there's roof. I was going to make half the build have blue roof and the rest have orange, but I just liked it all being orange. Part of it has newer looking tiles. Um, these old tiles that came with Selva Dorada, is my th they're my favourite roof thing. They're just really pretty, I love the colours. But yeah, we mix it with some newer looking ones to look like they've refurbished it a bit. So what have the what are you putting in here that's been added new? Um, in here? Probably nothing. <laughs> there, there wasn't tons of new stuff. Most of the build is Selva Dorada. Um, but the new stuff we got, we got a ceiling fan, which I forgot to use, so I'm going to go back and add that because it's really cool. You can't Here's a build, guys, where I show you what's new. I forgot to use the ceiling fan. Look, okay. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> um, but I used the new chairs and sofa and the new, um, I don't know what to call it, wall decor. It's not a painting. It's like, I they might have names, but I'm kind of stupid. But uh, it's a framed 
don't have to keep calling yourself stupid. I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's called. A framed piece of fabric. But that makes it sound really lame, but it's not. It's very pretty. There's some lovely swatches. So I'll use that a few times. And it sounds better than I make it sound. So yeah. Um, I really like the new sofas and chairs. The new sofa, it, you don't get a long three-seater one. It's only a two-seater. It's really cute though. And there's really pretty colours and swatches and whatever you want to call it. Um, I use the chair quite a bit. You'll probably actually see me use the chair. Uh, in the tour you will see more of the actual new items. I really love the door. The door is my favourite thing. Not the glass one. The very old wooden one. I don't know if it's actually... I think it's wood? It looks like it has a bamboo-y sort of texture. That doesn't really make sense though, so... I don't know. I hate that... Um, sorry. I hate that amoeba carpet. I thought it was an avocado. Why oh, do you hate I, it? I, I like I, the shape I of it. Because I thought it looked like an amoeba. Jesus Christ, now it's awful. Looks there like, is... Looks like a wriggly germ. <laughs> oh, no, you've ruined it. Why would you do that? I just like the shape of it, because I like using carpets that aren't rectangles. Because they... Like, I like putting them at angles to make them look like they've been there a long time, and they're, you know, stylishly tilted, do it for the gram, and all <laughs> Um, and so ones with... Uh, like circular ones and ones with odd shapes are just better to tilt because they look like their intention they're then they look nice at that angle but a lot of the square ones are like oh you put that like that just to force it to look casual but really you spent a lot of time deciding if it was better at a five degree angle or a nine degree angle i'm talking absolute rubbish now um so yeah there's probably a lot of packs in this if you download it but a lot of it is stuff like that. Like I just used a vampire wall crack. That's probably the only wall crack we use and subsequently the only thing out of vampires we use. That is my favorite painting, that one with the really bright blue sky. So pretty. Tom, what's your favorite painting in The Sims? Um. Is it the dog one where they're playing cards? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, can we say paintings that you can paint? Sure. Because uh, those are the only ones you know. Are, well, no, it's just because a lot of them are actually really nice. Oh, I think I know the one you like. Is um, it the girl? The girl. Yeah. Well, she's holding something that's sort of like modernist sort of looking. Is it, is it a grayscale one? Grayscale? Black and white? No, it's not black and white. No? No, but her body is kind of missing, but there's just her head and she's got her lips. And she's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, that painting, the mm -hmm. one. <laughs> My voice cracked when I did that, that's nice. That's so attractive. Um, I spend a long time on this bedroom, I don't know why, it's not even that big. Um, I really wanted to have an open floor space in each of the bedrooms, i.e. be able to look down into the floor below. But when you use fence and cut out some of the floor, or no matter how you cut out the floor, if there's a roof going through it, the roof will actually show up. It's really irritating. If you build, you'll know what that means. If you don't, I probably describe that really poorly. But I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> but you cut out a piece of floor, and if you have roof going through it like I do, then the roof is going to show in the room, and it will probably be inaccessible, and it doesn't look attractive either. So that was fun, but... Maybe I'll try to go back to reposition the roof so that we can have the floor being open, because I think these sorts of more... I don't know what to call it... tropical? Exotic? That's houses? Um, they look really nice with open floors and you can see down into them. So, yeah, maybe I'll try to do that one day. Probably not, but we'll see. Anyways, um, so we're coming to the end of summer and I think I'm clinging on to the last tendrils of it by building tons of stuff in Selva Dorada. I've done a few things off camera, ended up liking them, regretted not recording. That always happens. When I'm not recording, I'm like, actually, I really like this. And then when I do record, I'm like, this is absolute garbage. I hate myself. I wish I could delete Sims. That's that's my impression of myself. Apparently, that's what I sound like. I mean, I, I actually sound like a man, but when I do an impression of myself, I sound like Professor Umbridge or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you guys actually think I sound like a man, but it's happened before where every time I've answered a house phone, people have thought that I'm my cousin, who's a guy. Um, they're always like, hey Philip, and it's like, I just say hi. I don't even bother correcting them, like, yeah, hi. And they ask to speak to someone, uh-huh, sure. 
And once, when I was hanging out with Tom and Tom's friend, his friend's girlfriend called, and he was like, oh yeah, I'm just hanging out with Tom and Kath. And Tom and I both said hi. And she was like, you're not hanging out with Catherine. That's a boy. <laughs> and he was telling us that Tom's friend was like, no, I promise it's not. And she was like, I don't believe you. And I was just like, mm, my name is Greg. I don't think I Wait, said that. Wait, what was this? Once when we were hanging out with Sam, your friend, for context. Um, not that you forgot your friend, but these these guys don't know. Anyway, his girlfriend called him and he said, oh yeah, I'm hanging out with Tom and Kath. And, she was, and we both said hi. And his girlfriend was like, Catherine's not there. That's a boy or something like that. And she didn't believe him. I do sound like a guy on the phone. You have a great voice. You think I have a great voice? Best voice in the world. Best voice in the world. Thank yeah, you. Cool. You hear that, EA? Call me up if you want me to voice some Sims. You know, Sul Sul, Dug Dug. Ina Balabada. Ina Balabada. Ina Balabada. Ma. Oh, sorry. My chair brushed up against the radiator. This room is quite cramped. Oh my. You I did not. Oh, fun fact. Um, do you want to know what my fa my family called farts <laughs> growing up? This is a fun fact everyone wants to know. So, my mum never said oh, fart. <laughs> everyone wants to know. And my mum never said fart. She always called it buttons. <laughs> well, Tom used to find it funny. Now he's looking at me like I'm disgusting. <laughs> no, it, it, it is funny. I do find it funny. I think it's both cute and sad. Sad? <laughs> what? Why would it be but... sad? I don't know. You call me sad. You share with the world. But you said f I farted when I did Buttons. Buttons. They were called buttons. And yet, weirdly, at the same time, a remote control for the TV was also called a button box. Because it has buttons that you press. And then when I first said that in front of Tom, he was like, a what? And I was like, the button box. He was like, what the hell are you talking about? So, yeah. I thought remote was American and button box was English. But to be fair, English has a lot of weird slang. And that does sound like something. Like, what what other slang do we have that sounds kind of cutesy and weird? Oh, I can't think of anything. Eggy bread. Instead of saying French toast, we go, eggy bread. I don't know. I, I've, I've had American friends before who have thought that's cute or something. Or just novelty. I, I don't know. Um, in the past, it doesn't happen anymore because we're all old and dying and stuff. Of old age and all that good stuff. Um, but in the past... When I first spoke to Ameri my, some of my American friends over Skype and stuff, they always had their siblings with them. I'm an only child, so I just maybe I don't, I don't get this. I love that table, by the way, that came with the free update. But yeah, they all have siblings, tons of them for some reason. Like and me. they'd speak. Tom has one sibling. Yes, lots. A sister. No, you have one. Yes, that's lots. Okay. Trust I have me, none. That's enough. <laughs> Too many. Um, but yeah, and so they'd be like, oh my god, you sound so British. Say crumpets, and then I say it for them. <laughs> no, this has actually happened. Say crumpets. This has happened. Um, I think Becca listens to my videos sometimes, so she's asked me to do it, and she knows that. Um, and once she had a friend or her sister or a brother in the room, I don't remember, and she was like, hey, come here, listen to my friend say crumpets. <laughs> I don't know how many times Americans have asked me to say crumpets. I don't know why. I barely eat crumpets. When was the last time you ate a crumpet? I don't like them. You don't like them? No. I find them all right. But they're really dry unless you have butter with them, and I hate butter. So, uh, they're okay. But if you put butter on them, you see it seep through- Ah, oh, let's just stop, this is disgusting, and I haven't talked about the build. I'm really bad at this, I'm so sorry. But I just- if I'm not building something that I can talk about history with, I don't know what to say. Where are the damn sliding doors? I probably wasn't paying attention. The sliding doors are on already. Go home. You are home. We're home right now. Where are you going? I'm going. Where? To put my shorts on. Oh. Anyway, we're going to go into the video tour. Um, hope you learned a lot about the build with me talking about buttons and whatever else I spoke about. But I really hope you like the build. It has a lot of the new stuff in it from the update, so go check it out. You can download it. My gallery ID is Blossom Bombs. So I'll see you next time. Bye!
Don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Okay, bye bye.